Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. Dude, this bitch told Sayori to fucking kill herself. I'm gonna bet fucking money she told Sayori to fucking kill herself, okay? So that she can grow as a person, alright? This fucker, dude. I don't know why I hate Monica so much. I just have that feeling, you know? Anyway. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Excuse me? You fucking weirdo! Anyway. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you new. The one who is truly useless. Haha, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Oh shit. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of health. H help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work if I could I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Damn, dude! What the fuck? Yuri, what the actual fu- Dude, Yuri wants that dick, dude. Yuri wants that dick. There's no other way to see this shit. New may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for New to- wh What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. <laughs> and baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to New to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in- You literally just said- I I'm surprised as well, so sorry, sorry. I was just saying though, geez, can we just settle this already? Yeah. New, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. Humph. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. This- this fucking choice, dude. I'm saving right here. Okay, we're putting it up to a poll. You guys get to decide. Okay. Who do I spend the weekend with? Question mark. Okay. Will it be Natsuki? Will it be Yuri? Will it be Monica? Or will it be Sayori? Okay. Vote, people. You get one minute. God damn, dude. This is pretty intense. Like, this is a pretty intense decision. I feel like this decision right here is what's going to change the whole game. I feel like this decision right here is what's going to change the whole fucking game, dude. But we'll see. If you haven't had a chance to vote, please vote. There's about 30 seconds left in the vote. We'll hang out until everyone's gotten a chance to vote. About 20 seconds left for that vote, people. Press the buttons, press the buttons. Let's see what people think, what people want, what people need. Would you prefer I spend the weekend with Yuri, Sayori, Monica, or Natsuki? And it looks like a winner by a thin margin is Natsuki? What? <laughs> Okay, well, Natsuki won, dude. Natsuki got fucking 27 fucking, like, percent of the vote. Or 48% of the vote. 
<laughs> Dude, we're not recounting. That's it. Natsuki won. Natsuki won. That's 48% of the vote to Natsuki. Lane contributed 2,600 channel points. Dude, that's what it says. That's what it says on the... Yeah. Natsuki got 48% of the votes. Yuri got... 46% of the votes, Sayori got 5% of the votes, and Monica got 0% of the votes. <laughs> oh my god. There will be no peaceful transfer of power if you pick Natsuki. I mean... <laughs> I mean, dude... Natsuki got first place, Yuri got second place. So because okay, they got first and second place. Some of the votes that went to Sayori might have went to to either of them, right? So here's what I'm gonna do to be fair. I'm gonna do the redo the poll. I'm gonna redo the poll with just those two options. So it's gonna be Natsuki and Yuri, and those are gonna be the only two options, okay? So who? You have to pick between them two, okay? So no more Sayori is just not unfortunately not part of the vote anymore so okay here you go so is it natsuki or yuri i'll do a redo because you redeemed a redo distress and i don't think lane will lane will you mind too much if we redo i hope you don't mind too much i'm face desking so hard But here it is. It's between Natsuki and Yuri because those were the two most voted people. So let's see who wins this time. About 20 seconds left on this vote as well. I regret this so much. Please refund me. Give them Yuri. <laughs> no, you can't, requ you can't refund him if he like uses currency on a poll, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, it looks like 90, what, 93% of people want me to do Yuri. So there you go. <laughs> I simp too hard. All right, Yuri's, Yuri, here he comes. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Besides, we almost fucking, like, made out in the, in the, in the fucking classroom. So I guess it makes sense I would go. Why would you, Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, no, I was just saying, ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Nu? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah, I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, New? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? She's so pissed, dude. She wanted my dick so bad, but... Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Ah, Yuri anxiously glass, gra glances between everyone in the room. I, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why New picked me. Well, it's because of a fucking poll on Twitch if you want to be technical. Bro, New, I want to go play some Terraria, but you're getting to a good part, so I fucking can't. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. Aw, that's sweet. That's a nice thing to say. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I... I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. That's true, actually. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. What? Oh, no, 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 you're, <coughs> you're not going to tell me. You're not going to fucking tell me that they're going to make Yuri into the new Sayori. Like, she's going to walk me home and act like my best friend and shit. 
after Sayori offs herself. You're not gonna fucking tell me that. They can't do that. You can't do that, dude. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. She's going to put fucking cum in her cupcakes, dude. What the fuck? But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat. Between each other. Uh, um, A? Eh? Dude, did she, like, fucking stop me at the doorway? Is it just me and her right now? Are they gonna flirt again, dude? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Damn! Exchanging numbers, dude! I think that would be the best way, yes. See you, Nora. Have a great day. Alright, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? Um, if we eat fast food tonight, will I finish Doki Doki? I can do that. I can finish Doki Doki tonight. However, I will have to take an hour break to go do my fours match. So, but I can finish Doki Doki tonight if we eat fast food. Sure, why not? In either case. Is that a problem? So I guess it'll be a late night stream now. No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way. So I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Okay, if I'm finishing Doki Doki tonight, then I got to make an announcement to... I gotta make an announcement to everyone on the fours team at fours match tonight 9 30 eastern be there and i also have to fucking check to see if the match comms are updated dude let me check 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 sorry this is gonna take a little bit it's gonna detract for just a little bit maybe like a minute uh match list match comms Default day and time works just post connect when you are ready. Okay, match calmed. Anyway, <clears throat> going on, proceeding, pro fucking seating, okay? It's not like it shouldn't matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. So I'm going to have her over. Dude. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Okay, I'll rename the stream too. So this is not a five hour stream. There, updated. I'll probably be playing fours, why not? Anyway, I'm not as nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, new. I think that will make that will make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Dude! We were literally about to fuck over a book, dude. Over a book in chocolate, we were about to fuck. Anyway, you're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but, Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. Whew. Damn. I believe you. 
As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Damn! Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Dude, it's not too early, dude. You guys have been giving, giving each other the fuck me eyes over and over again. Like, seriously. Seriously, dude. Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. What? I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I'm checking the game files, but nothing's changed, so. Anyway, I, I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Dude, this fucker, he's planning to fuck her. Okay, this fucker is gonna fuck her, okay? That's what's about to fucking happen here! Alright? Anyway, going on. Meanwhile, we've- Hi, Nora, welcome back. One of my friends is watching the stream, not in chat, and says you will definitely finish past midnight, even if you ran, th ran through it at this point. Oh well. Oh well, we said we'd finish. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I've heard, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Yeah, you should be worried about Sayori, dude. That chick is depressed, and you didn't walk her home, and you made her feel like shit. Like, goddamn. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Oh hey BBL frags, Mr. New Name. What's up? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like this. The music fucking stopped. Dude, I don't want to see this. I don't want this. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. The files right now? Is something in the files? I don't see it. There's nothing in the files. In the logs? In the game files, maybe? Library? I don't see any files, guys. Not yet. Anyway. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. I don't like this, man. I do not like this, dude. The house is quiet. No! 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 I don't want to click, Dusk. I don't want to click, Dusk. I don't want to click. I don't want to click. I don't want to click. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor. So I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. <laughs> dude, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt, dude. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Nu. <sighs> Thank God. Thank God, dude. Thank God. Thank God. Thank Jesus. Thank the Lordy Jesus. 
I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Oh my god. There's a minute of silence between us. God, dude, tell her how much you care about her. Tell her how important you are to her or she is to you. Just tell her. You don't have to be in love with her. You can still like Yuri and you can tell her how much you care about her, her how much you love her as a person, as a friend. Like, it's probably fucking Monica telling her to kill herself or something. But please, please tell her you care about her, dude. Save her. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I ended up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me, You fucking bitch! You fucking bitch! Why would Monica tell her? Oh god, I want to strangle that bitch, dude. She's such a manipulative cunt. She knows that she wants to kill herself. She knows she's depressed and she's telling her that I'm fucking seeing Yuri. You fucking bitch, dude, Monica. I'm gonna... Okay, going on. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Dude. What the hell, man? Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So. Sayori smiles, shaking her head. God, this is sad. That's no good, Nu. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? What a fucking heartbreaking line that is. Why can't it be just be like it's always been? Dude. New, why can't it be like it's always been, dude? Why can't you hug her? Why can't you be her friend? Why can't you care about her, huh? Why you gotta be so cold, man? This is all my fault. What's your fault, Sayori? What the fuck? If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, I bet that's something Monica told her. If I didn't make that stupid mistake, what mistake? Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Punishment for what, dude? This chick, she's obviously depressed, dude. Help her out, man. Invite her to go work with you and Yuri. Why not? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. Fuck, dude. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> God, Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Seriously, what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Ahaha. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Nu. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? Oh, it hurts! Oh, it fucking hurts! Ah! This hurts, dude. What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, New? I guess I have no choice this time. Oh, fuck. The thing is, say it. Say it. I've had really bad depression my whole life. That, there it is. 
that's that there it is i fucking knew it i fucking called it okay i called that i'll have everyone know here i knew that from the minute the game started the first line in the game that says she's been waking up later right in the right right away i said she has depression that's sad. I hope New responds well to- I hope that my character isn't a fucking dickhole about this. I hope he helps her and doesn't just leave her out to dry. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Wow. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Oh my god. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Dude. Dude, this is how I felt for a long time. So I can completely sympathize with this character. This is sad. Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Shit. That, okay, this is seriously getting me really hard. This hurts. Like, this is bad. Without anyone worrying about me, I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? God damn. Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. No, dude, no! Why would you tell her she's betrayed you as a friend after she opens up to you about her depression? No! Dude, I don't even... Why would he say something like that? Why would he say this fucking line, dude? <sighs> Shit. Shit. I think it's about at this moment where we should read a poem about Gorks. Gorks are nice. They eat spice. Dalmatians hate gorks. Gorks. Going on. Proceeding. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Okay, alright. Okay. So, like, the line before this was, like, bad, right? Where he's like, you betrayed me as a friend. But now he's like, if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. That's better. Him telling her that he's there to support her, that's better. Okay, that's... Okay, so I should have not overreacted, but anyway. Even if there's only so much that I could do. That's good, New. Okay, you ended that well, but you shouldn't have told her that she betrayed you. That's fucked up. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. Oh my god, that's so fucking sweet. Oh my heart. My fucking heart, dude. It's full. This is so fucking sweet. This is so fucking sweet. That's why I'm your friend. <sighs> all you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, New. He's trying. He's trying to understand. Say that you're trying to understand. Tell her you're trying to understand. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Tell her you're trying, dude. Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. That's not true. I don't want to be cared about. That's not true. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Take care of her. Why do you laugh at that? She's so fucking cute right now, dude. She's so fucking cute, dude. God damn, I feel so bad. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. 
That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. <laughs> it's not like that! Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Shit. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. Don't tell her that. Tell her you're trying to understand. Come on, man. Do the right thing. But I don't need to understand, okay? In the right direction. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. It's okay. That's an okay response. No, new. No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped us is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. Dude. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. She's not horrible, dude. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck! I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. Fuck. That's all I am. This is sad. And that's why I'm getting to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last- No! Come on! Say something! Don't just let her do this! Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Fucking hug her, dude. Hug her tight. Ah. New. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. That's a good response. That's a good fucking response. New, Sayori isn't hugging me back. <gasps> no! We've lost her, dude! She's not hugging you back. She's gonna kill herself. We've fucking lost her. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. Shit! No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. No, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. Fuck! And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know about that last line. I'm not a big fan of that last line, but dude, this is a big moment, man. Leave Yuri and do me right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me and we turn. Yes! I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, new. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, ah, uh, it's what I want. I promise. It's not going to save her. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. 
If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. That's a good offer. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Fuck, dude. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. Is this the point at which I need to check the files? I don't know what to check. I don't think this is the point where I have to check the files. But anyway, going on. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. So it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. She's not gonna show up to the fucking festival. She's not gonna show up to the fucking festival and she's gonna kill herself during the festival. I'm calling it now. Going on. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri! Ah, oh my, dude, that fucking sweater, that form-fitting fucking sweater, dude. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. I guess it is just a straight-up sweater. But, I mean, you never see them outside of their school uniforms, right? So it's weird. Like, even seeing, like, Sayori in, like, her t-shirt and stuff and shorts, that was weird, too. But anyway, going on. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Damn, she's glancing around. She's being all curious. The flirt's gonna start, okay? I know we just had a real serious moment with Sayori, but I'm telling you right now, the flirt is gonna fucking start, all right? It's so clean. Ahaha, I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. It, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Damn, dude. She's tr already, like, trying to demonstrate her, like, wifey material and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ah. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. What the fuck is in the desk drawer, dude? You got some porno mags in there? Like, what the fuck is in the drawer that you don't want her looking in there, dude? Ah, ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. Is it an embarrassing picture of him at the Christmas party, dude? Is that what's in the drawer? Is that what's in the fucking drawer? Is it an embarrassing picture of him at the Christmas party? Hmm? Is it? Is that what's in the fucking drawer? Hmm? Anyway, going on. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles, Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Weed, fucking vermin. <laughs> I thought this would popular enough that there would be oodles of it. Hm. 
Of course, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity, and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Dude, she's trying so hard not to be a bad thing. No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the Pori Tree event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. Let's see what she's got in her bag, dude! Let's see what she's got! She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. What? I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. That's what- What's that wooden thing, though? What is that wooden thing? I am actually curious myself, like, in real life what that wooden thing is. Like, what the fuck? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. Okay, it's a diffuser. Okay, let us hang on to the wooden cylinder. All right, whatever. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing your poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. Okay, so she's just fucking... What are we doing? Just sniffing shit? Like, are we going to make posters? Are we going to make decorations? What are we doing? We're here to work. Let's either... Okay, there's two options here, Yuri. We can either work or we can fuck. No in between. Pick one. Also, why do all these people live alone in a house? You ever think about that? Anyway. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out sev several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. That's a good idea. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. It is pretty creative. I like that idea. I, no, I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. Ooh hoo hoo, that's a weird laugh. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? He literally mentioned how she would be more relaxed when it was just the two of them before she came over. Like... Anyway. Or maybe it's just the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Noon. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then, she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. Is she gonna fucking stab me? Is she gonna fucking stab me, dude? And or stab- <gasps> Dude, she's gonna stab whatever Ninjago or whatever fucking name is. What is her name? Uh, yo, can we get an ad about how BBL is a fucking fragger? Please, my ego needs to be fed. Uh, this just in, a big shout out to 
big boy lethal BBL who is a fucking fragger. Anyway, Natsuki, that's her name. She's gonna stab Natsuki. Cause they've been in conflict the whole fucking game. Okay? And Yuri will just sometimes just randomly snaps at people, right? She has a beautiful pocket knife. This is totally foreshadowing. Right? And then her mystery books. Her mystery books also like like allude to that. How the main character in all her mystery books is like kind of restrained. And then fucking later on she's she's gonna stab her she's gonna stab natsuki dude she's gonna do it anyway the silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it or maybe she'll stab you she'll stab so she's gonna stab someone i feel like she will but we'll see the blade itself is gently tinted blue there's no ordinary pocket knife it looks really fancy ah, ah. well embarrassed yuri looks away what is it you're going to think it's weird Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. I fucking knew you it! You, I knew- I can't even speak. I knew she'd be into knives. She's gonna stab a hoe, okay? She's gonna straight up stab a hoe before the end of this game. She's gonna stab someone. She's gonna fucking twist the knife around. She's gonna laugh maniacally. And she's gonna want to be with me after that shit. And I'm gonna be like, no. I don't think that's right. That's fucked up. And then she's gonna fucking stab me. Just wait. She's gonna go crazy. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Haha, <laughs> you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Dude, he knows you're kinky, dude. Yeah, it's kind of intense, haha. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me a knife with the handle facing me. Dude, this is fucking sexual right here. She's fucking handing him her knife? Okay. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! New! No! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. How does she know that? How does she know that it cuts through skin like it's paper? Have you skinned someone? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Is she already crazy? Like, did she already kill a bitch? Anyway. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Oh, is she gonna kiss my boo-boo? Ah, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, well, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, ah. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. WHAT?! WHAT?! <laughs> Did I just fucking- is that the text that's on my fucking screen? Dude, they're gonna fuck, dude. They're gonna straight fuck. They're gonna go at it at like fucking wild animals, dude. <sighs> they're gonna go at it. Like there's no, if they don't fuck by the end of this, I'm gonna be pretty pissed actually. Cause it's so obvious. It's so fucking obvious. Anyway, I feel her tongue curl around my finger. When did this turn into Fifty Shades of Grey, dude? When did this turn into Fifty Shades of fucking Grey? Can we just get on with it? Like, stop talking about finger sex. Like, when did this- 
Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Good for you, dude. Good for you. Uh, oh, P please forgive me. Dude, she did that on purpose, dude. She's kinky as fuck. She's gonna stab a bitch. She is kinky. This chick is fucking batshit crazy, okay? Like, I can already tell. Going on. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I believe it. I believe that's embarrassing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, are you- is he gonna- okay. Now, if the flirt is gonna happen here, if they're gonna even develop even further, alright, what New would say here is that he didn't mind it. Okay, if he says he doesn't mind it, then we're reaching levels of flirt that shouldn't even be fucking possible, okay, people? Anyway. Sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. He's gonna say it. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Oh, he didn't say it. Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. <gasps> Maybe he will say it. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. What is he gonna try to do? What is he gonna try to do? What is he gonna do, dude? I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Dude, they're fucking licking each other, dude. They're fucking- they're like wild fucking animals. They're licking each other, dude. They're fucking licking each other. Oh, anyway, the match starts in three minutes, so-